Hey, Josh here, and I'm going to show you how to automatically lip sync your voiceover with a character in Create Studio. All right, so as you can see, this is the uh, video that I just created, and I used my voice by simply going over to the music tab, clicking on record, and I connected my microphone and just simply hit start recording. Um, you can switch between the stereo and mono, so maybe do a couple of tests and see which one sounds best for you. I, I think I use stereo for this one. Um, and what you can also do is use our text-to-speech creator. So you can either use the Google one, which is our free one, or our realistic AI one that's included uh, that we've just built uh, into Create Studio 3.0. And this one comes with really lifelike voices. So for example, I'll play some. Okay, so let's go and grab that one there, and I'm just going to type in, hi, um, Josh, and let's create a voiceover. Okay, something like this, and I'm going to cl click on generate speech, and just preview this one. Hi, I'm Josh, and let's create a voiceover. Okay, cool, this one's got kind of like a, maybe a Spanish accent or something like that, but I like this one, so I'm going to import it. Okay, so I've got my text-to-speech here now. So what I'm going to do is show you how to create this. So what you would do is I'm going to go quickly first and add a background, maybe something like this Lamborghini one. And then I'm going to go over to the 3D character, just drag and drop him here. And all you need to do, I'm just going to I'll make him a bit bigger. Um, again, you can go ahead and customize your character. So let's say I want to go have some, maybe this haircut, and I'm going to use some facial hair. A moustache or maybe some stubble might actually go with something like this one's quite cool okay and then all you need to do is uh, select your voiceover so I'm gonna go grab that track that I just created place it on top and I'm gonna zoom into the timeline you can choose different actions as well that will sync along with the uh, voiceover so let's say I'm gonna do a wave action okay and all you need to do is make sure that your text to speech or your voiceover, you can also import voiceover tracks. You know, if you go ahead and hire someone to create a voiceover for you, um, you can import any audio file and just make sure that it's on top of your character or below. So that it's in, in the same kind of line with your character. And when you right click on it, click on sync with your Tom character. And you've obviously, that's all you need to do. It's that quick and easy. And you can have multiple tracks as well. So if I went over and grabbed another one, let's say this one here. And I might actually just go ahead and add a secondary action. Let's say happy maybe. So what I'm going to do, let me just preview this one. Okay, cool. So let me just go across. And if I just cut that part there, bring it over. I'm going to right click sync with Tom. And you've seen now that it also syncs up like so. So that's how easy it is to go ahead and sync up any character with a voiceover. Simply add your character, right click on the audio, which is in, tra in line with the actual character and click on sync with Tom. And that's all you need to do.